Climate change. Temperatures continue to rise at an increasing rate around the globe. With snowfall being crucial to the ski industry's success, how has climate change impacted the industry and what is being done to combat these effects? Warming temperatures around the globe are caused by the greenhouse effect. This effect occurs when the Earth's atmosphere traps solar radiation that has been reflected by the Earth. Some gases in the atmosphere that help block heat from escaping are water vapor, nitrous oxide, methane, and carbon dioxide. The presence of these gases is what's causing global warming, but what's causing the prevalence of those gases to increase? The short answer to that is humans. According to NASA, humans have increased atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations by 47% since the Industrial Revolution began. In fact, carbon dioxide from human activity is increasing more than 250 times faster than it did from natural sources after the last ice age. The planet's average surface temperature has increased by over 2 degrees Fahrenheit since the late 19th century. In addition to this, satellite observations have revealed that the amount of spring snow cover in the northern hemisphere has decreased over the past five decades and that snow is melting earlier and earlier each year. Now, it's clear that global warming is occurring at an increasingly rapid rate, but how has that affected the ski industry? With less and less snow each year, scientists from CU Boulder have hypothesized that winter season length could be cut short by more than half in some locations as soon as 2050. Shorter seasons could result in millions to tens of millions of foregone recreational visits annually by 2050, with an annual monetized impact of hundreds of millions of dollars. Protect Our Winners is a nonprofit organization focused on combating climate change in the winter sports industry. In the 2018 Economic Report, The Economic Contributions of Winter Sports in a Changing Climate, Protect Our Winters found that there is a strong correlation between skier visits and snow cover. During years with high snow cover, Protect Our Winters found there to be increased participation levels in snow sports, which then resulted in more jobs and added economic value. In low snow years, participation drops resulting in lost jobs and reduced revenue. To be exact, they found that the increased skier participation levels in high snow years meant an extra $692.9 million in value added and 11,800 extra jobs compared to the 2001 to 2016 average. In low snow years, however, reduced participation decreased value added by over $1 billion and cost over 17,000 jobs as compared to an average season. The ski industry recognizes the danger that climate change poses. But what are they doing to combat these effects? In 2017, Vail Resorts announced a commitment to using 100% renewable energy. This means a transition to solar power as well as more efficient snowmaking. Vail is also buying more properties, recently in Australia and here in Vermont. By diversifying the properties that they own, they're trying to protect against weather variability in different regions. Resorts have also increased their snowmaking capacity. However, snowmaking is only a short-term solution as it comes with a large carbon footprint. Some resorts have turned to snow farming. This can consist of installing snow fences, stockpiling snow into large piles, and storing snow over the summer months. In fact, this method can be found right here in Vermont. Raspberry Family Lodge has come up with an innovative plan in which they make a large pile of artificial snow at the end of winter. They then insulate it over the summer using wood chips. This ensures that they'll have enough snow to start the season on time.